2K, I am back. And let me tell y'all how it all goes down. 2K17, I was a 95, pure sharp, 23 points in the game. I killed it. 2K18, nobody could stop me and Meech on the twos. Everything was pure, pure, pure skill. The skill gap, you can always tell. The fade, the shot, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. 2K19, I came out as a dribble guy. We made people fall. People could not stick me. Whether it was one people or two people, you could not guard anything that I do. The momentum spin, the ISO, everything was so prolific. Everything was so smooth. Even when two people trying to guard me, it's just a problem. And I was a problem for everybody. And then we broke out. Me and Moolah on the twos. I met up with Moolah, and then we took over the twos, and we landed against Lex the Problem. And Lex did not only show up once, he showed up twice. A couple months later, he showed up with his 99 overall. And let's see if he put up the skills. He could not guard your boy Classic Keys. We was out there showing the skills, showing everything. And Lex tried to do the little screen defense. That wasn't going to help him at all. Not only just him, we went up against the real God Trill. The real God Trill. And bruh, we dropped him off as well. And I was a GOAT. And now, it's 2K20.
jackpot this time. YouTube, you already know what it is. It's your boy Classic Keys, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm back. We definitely gonna start making these videos, and I'm gonna start doing some tutorials. Um, I got a lot uh, coming towards this 2K. Out of all 2Ks, um, this is not my favorite one. My favorite one is still 2K17, but we still gonna fight and we still gonna play um, basically through this game i mean all warriors fight so you always find a way to to do something you always find a way to be great at the game and that's what we're going to do um if you didn't know um a lot of people still don't know you can change your jump shot all of that you can change your animations you can change all of that in your mind court if you don't know um i'm not one of those type of dribblers i definitely want to tell y'all like Thank you for watching the video. You know what I mean? Thank you for getting this far. I'm definitely not one of those dribblers who dribbles like everybody else. Who who dribbles all around the court or all around. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some people are too wild. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Steezo and a lot of other dudes, they're very nice. But a lot of people are too wild. They be moving in areas that's not even real. You know what I mean? So, the way I dribble, I dribble... Uh, very prolific very organized and very real like you know what I mean you could almost get a feel for the game even like okay well why is he doing some of the same stuff some stuff I am doing the same some stuff I am not like in you might think that is easy to stop until you actually come and guard me or until you come and actually guard one of those dribble guys and then you seen I was one-on-one -on -one against a, uh, a superstar too and he was pretty much locked down now, uh, here's my badges. I'm going to show y'all my badges, how we get down, and how everything is. I do not have Dimer on. I don't. I don't have Dimer on. Um, a lot of my dudes that you see me play with shoots very, very, very good. And that was able for me to get a uh, Hall of Fame space creator. I am going to put my Dimer back on, though. I do like it like this. I do like I'm telling you, when you have these badges like this, for the one-on-one on, on one events, you definitely have to have your badges like this if you're going to play with your guard, period. For your one-on-one -on -one events and ever since i had it for my one-on-one -on -one events i kept it like this because the space creator like makes them fall you know what i mean so and the other thing in one-on-one -on -one events i'd rather go in one-on-one -on -one events i'd rather go silver clamps and um silver intimidator which is very very good if one you put bronze clamps and bronze pick pocket but that's what i like for uh for what's the name but most of the time i'm also i'm always getting picked so um I'd rather do one bronze uh, clamps, one bronze intimidator, and silver pickpocket for me playing threes. Shooting badges, I've literally currently found out that this is like one of the best ways of me having the ball. I wanted corner specials, but it don't matter as long as I get catch and shoot and I shoot very good. This is it. I kind of broke my bill. I should have like 20 something badges, 20 something shooting badges, 20 something. Um, playmaking badges but the fact that i made him at shooting guard this was the deal so all in all i really think this is really nice i really do love this build i will not make it over if i will make anything else over it'll probably be an offensive thread or anything like that um i am a 96 97 um i do fluctuate i did make it to 99 but i was playing with some people who got my record a little bit down so it was kind of like messed up so 
this is just basically me telling you like you know the basically the ways of of being just like in, in the loop of everything like you know what i mean i'm going to be dropping stuff i'm going to be dropping like how i dribble and uh how other people dribble you know what i mean like it, it won't it won't affect anything else but it will definitely help you get uh better towards anything that you need to learn because i i do have the sauce i do have everything that anybody really needs to know how to dribble like you know what i mean what's the best moves on the games to use and stuff like that like you you will want to know these things because you don't want to be blind to a fact of you can't do anything you want to know these things you want to have a good jump shot you want to hit every single last jump shot you do not want to because if you're playing the twos you might not get the ball back <laughs> you might not get the ball back so at the end of the day you want to be prolific you want to be special you want to be one of a kind so if i were you i would go study your jump shot i would go study your crossovers and for you not to get that ball up like you want to hit every single shot you don't want to miss no shots you don't want to play around you want to get like you even want to get your load up times good you know what i mean because once your load up times is very good everything is really good you know what i mean so um <laughs> I mean, with that being said, that's pretty much it, man. I just hope everybody enjoyed the video. I just hope everybody does their thing. And I'm your boy, Classic Keys, man. We just went 7 for 7. Just had to show y'all the jump shot. Hey, if y'all want any tips or if y'all want the jump shot, I can put out the jump shot the next video. Or you can come follow me on twitch.tv slash Classic Keys. And when you come to the, the stream, I'll definitely welcome you. And then you can do exclamation mark and you'll know the jump shot exclamation mark jump shot but if you want the video or the jump shot i can throw out some video clips and i could put out the jump shot and i only want 15 to 20 likes let's do 15 likes for this video and we can give out the jump shot video all right i'll holla at y'all man it's your boy